everybody, it's Olivia from the museum and I'm back to talk about colors in nature. So today we're going to talk about a few different colors than we did last week. I'm here today in my home studio to talk to you a bit about painting with color forged from your own home. This is a great way to get creative with no special tools and no expensive paints. Uh, going back to reds, reds are really fun. So one of my favorite reds to work with is this red which is actually just regular old beet juice. So I made this beet juice uh, when I made pickled beets earlier this year. Uh, and this is actually just my pickled beet container. I mean, if I were to reach in, I don't have a fork. There are actual pickled beets in here. Now, if you're not a big fan of pickled beets, you can actually just go buy a beet and boil it on your stove for a while until the color comes out. And then you're gonna wanna boil it down to make the paint a little thicker. So I'm just going to take my beet juice and a little piece of paper here and dip it right in uh, and I'm just going to paint like a really quick flower. And the thing with uh, paints like this is you kind of treat them like you would treat uh, watercolor. So you can go in later and add darker tones or lighter tones, but you're going to want to make sure uh, your paint, your homemade paint, dries completely in between. Now, I also made a warm red tone with berries. So these were just like frozen blueberries. I like the frozen ones because it kind of uh, breaks down uh, the fiber or the, breaks down the flesh of the fruit so it, you don't have to boil them. I just stuck my frozen berries in this little sieve. If you don't have a sieve, uh, a coffee filter will work too. Uh, and as they melted, I sort of forced them through. Forced them through until you get like this, um, I don't know, like berry compote mix here. Uh, I'll just put this off to the side and you can see the liquid sort of left behind here. Now, the interesting things that happens when you use berries, so I've got my, my beautiful red tone right here and I'm just going to put another in this side container and I'm going to add a bit of baking soda because sometimes when you're using these natural pigments, adding something like baking soda just totally changes its character. So I'm just going to add a bit of baking soda and we'll see what happens. Give it a stir and you can see it's frothing up. And it has completely darkened into this really interesting blue color. So now next to the red of the original berry, you can see it's like gray blue. It's very cool. So painting with berry, it's the same as painting with other watercolors, although each paint does have its own character. The berry is a little thicker, a little, because there's so much sugar in it. So again, I'm just going to paint like a really quick little flower with this. I really like using berries for kids. Uh, I th they find it very interesting to have a food that they eat uh, and then they paint with. Thank you so much for coming by to learn about natural pigments. Tune in next week to learn about more colors from nature.